Okay, so in this video we're going to take a look at how to do your food logs through a mobile device. As a professional, if you set up a new nutrition program and elect to give your client access to the remote completion interfaces, the system will generate an email that includes links for them to access those locations. If they get to that email through a mobile device, they'll see a message that looks like this. I'm creating a new nutrition program for you. Will you please go in and complete these logs? In this case, we're going to look at the food intake detail. When they follow that link, they'll be taken into the mobile interface. This is a really step-by-step -step process. Step one is to pick the date that they're logging for. Step two is going to pick a time. In this case, we'll say 6.30 a.m. for breakfast. And then they're going to start logging their food items, um, item by item for that particular meal. So let's go ahead and use some examples here. So if I go oatmeal, I have the ability to further filter my results by category. We've got a very large database and we want to help them find what they're looking for as quickly as possible. So I'm going to say cereals ready to eat in this case and search. And once I do, the system will pull back all the results that match that criteria. I can further filter these if I like by subcategory and even by brand. Once I do, I get a very small refined list. Find the one that I'm looking for, select it. The system's going to give me standard measurement for that particular item, but I can change it to whatever I want. So let's just do this as an example. I can pick two cups if I'd like and add that item. I continue that process item by item for that particular meal. So let's do another example here. Eggs, dairy products, that's the one I'm looking for, one large egg. I add that. Once I've got this meal complete, I add this meal. I'm going to do that for each meal throughout the day. Once I've got that day logged, I'm going to continue on to the next day. Do the same thing. I'll move through these quickly just to show you the submit process as well. And one great thing is the system will learn over time what they're selecting. So let's do this oatmeal example again. When I search, you'll see towards the top of the screen your past selections. So the system's saying the last time you were in, you picked one of these. Do you want this again? That should speed up their search process substantially. I'm going to move on to the last day just so that you can see the submit process. This is a three-day log, but you can ask them to log all the way up to seven days. Let's do eggs again, and you can see that it's going to remember what I searched for last time. Here's my past selection once again. Add that. Once I've put in all my meals for each day, and the system's logged those, you'll see this submit button. When I click on the submit button, the professional that created this nutrition plan is going to get an email letting them know that the log is complete and that I'm finished on my side. That's all there is to it. Thanks and enjoy.